Exploring a career opportunity. An HR manager's interview with a sales executive candidate. Good morning. Welcome to our company. My name is John, HR manager. How are you today? Good morning, John. I am doing well. Thank you. My name is Kate. Nice to meet you, Kate. Shall we start your interview? Yes, please. Thank you. Kate, could you tell me more about yourself and your professional journey? Certainly. I have a degree in business administration from XYZ University. After my studies, I got an opportunity to work as a sales executive for ABC Corporation, a leading technology company, where I worked for a period of two years. Then I moved on to Def Limited, where I worked as a senior sales executive for three years. Apart from my professional credentials, I enjoy strategic planning and business development. Those experiences must have groomed you for a career in the commercial sector. Can you tell me more about your roles in these organizations? Sure. At ABC Corporation, I was responsible for introducing the product to potential customers, maintaining customer relationships, and negotiating and closing sales agreements. At Def Limited, I handled a team of 10 sales executives. My role included planning and executing sales strategies, meeting sales targets, preparing sales reports, and solving client problems. It's impressive. How do you handle pressure or stressful situations? I tend to thrive in high pressure situations. In sales, pressure is a part of the job. We constantly have targets and deadlines. I stay organized and prioritize my tasks to manage stress. Taking a break also helps me to recharge and keep perspective. Great. Now, how do you approach a prospective client? First, I research about the company or the individual to understand their needs better. I then design my pitch based on this understanding. I ensure that I communicate how our product can solve their problems or enhance their business. It's all about making a connection and delivering value. That sounds like a great strategy. Why did you say you left your past employer? I wanted to seek new challenges and grow in my career. With my experience, I felt that I could contribute more to an organization and play a larger role. I left Def Limited on good terms and with the hope of finding an opportunity that matches my ambition and potential. That's understandable. Do you have any questions for me? Yes. I would like to understand more about the company's growth plans. What opportunities for advancement will there be? And how does the company support the development of its employees? We offer various opportunities for our employees to grow. There are regular training programs to enhance your skills and understand the latest market trends. We have a robust performance review system that identifies high performers and provides them with opportunities for leadership roles. Thank you for the information. It sounds like a company that invests in its employees. I look forward to the potential of working with your team. You're welcome, Kate. We are looking for talented professionals like yourself. We will go through the interview process with other candidates and inform you about our decision within the next few days. Thank you very much for your time, John. I look forward to hearing from you. It was a pleasure meeting you, Kate. Have a good day. You too, John. Goodbye. Goodbye. A warm welcome. The manager and the new hire. Good morning. You must be our latest recruit. Welcome. Glad to have you on board. Good morning. Thank you. I'm definitely excited to start. It's always a good feeling to have fresh talent around. Let's have my first question then. How was your commute? I hope it was not too tiring. It was quite decent, actually. I live nearby, and the transport facility provided by the organization is great. 
That's good to hear. Now let's get started. First of all, as your manager, I want to let you know that I'm here to support you in settling in. So if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to just reach out to me directly. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Great. Let me give you a brief overview of our department. Our team consists of 15 members in total, each with different roles and responsibilities. Can you tell me what you understand about your role? From what I was told during the hiring process, my role as an administrative assistant here is to offer comprehensive support to our team. That would include everything from coordinating meetings and handling correspondence to managing databases and making travel arrangements. That's accurate, but your role is not limited to that. We value creativity and initiative. If you have any bright ideas or workflows that could enhance the admin function, you are more than welcome to contribute. Well, that sounds encouraging. I will definitely keep that in mind. Excellent. We also have weekly team meetings every Tuesday where everyone gets a chance to showcase their work and suggest new ideas. But before all this, you will undergo an orientation session where you will get to know about our overall operational procedures and the exact details of your tasks. Sounds good. When and where will the orientation session take place? The orientation usually takes place today right after this meeting. HR will take you through it. It usually happens in the conference room on this same floor. All right. What are the general work hours here? Though I understand there might be days that require working beyond those. Right. Our general work hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., but it can vary depending on the workload and deadlines. Understood. Here's your workstation. Your laptop is already set up and you'll find your login credentials taped to the monitor. Keep them secure. I see. Thank you. Speaking of keeping things secure, could you tell me more about the cybersecurity policies here? Good question. There's a whole section on that during your orientation. But in general, we don't share sensitive data through email. And we use secure encrypted methods for transfer of sensitive information. That makes sense. Well, it seems you are ready to get started. Like I said before, don't hesitate to reach out if you have a question. It's better to ask than assume. Certainly, I will. Thank you again for the warm welcome and the guidance. No problem at all. A very warm welcome to you. Let's work together to make a difference. Indeed. Thank you. All right then. Good luck and happy working. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Strategizing for increased productivity. A conversation between a manager and a technician. Good morning, manager. I hope you are doing well. I wanted to discuss about our plans for the upcoming year. Good morning. Certainly. Let's discuss the objectives for this year. What do you have in mind? In accordance with the company's vision, I think we need to strive for better productivity and efficiency. It seems that our processes need more optimization. You are correct. Small steps in increasing efficiency can substantially contribute to our overall productivity. Do you have any particular area in mind? Yes. I believe focusing more on preventive maintenance measures will be more cost effective and help minimize production downtime. I agree. Regular maintenance can prevent major breakdowns and enhance the life cycle of our equipment. Moving forward, this should be at the forefront of our objectives. If implemented well, the savings on costs will be significant in the long run. Absolutely, it's better to have frequent minor servicing than irregular major ones. Also, I recommend we need to focus more on staff skill enhancement programs. It's an investment rather than a cost. Certainly, we also need to strive for a skilled workforce. An efficient and skilled workforce can make a substantial difference in our productivity. 
and in turn, contribute to our profitability. Let's make sure to include a plan on this in our objectives. I'm glad you agree. Moreover, enabling our team with the latest methodologies and technologies can help us get ahead. I believe it's something that we should really consider on a serious note. Yes, it makes sense. We should strive to provide our team with up to date knowledge about the best industry practices. Regular training sessions and workshops could be the way to go. We need to ensure that the skill enhancement programs are tailored as per our needs and objectives. Rightly said, manager. I also propose that we should work on reducing the response time for service calls. It'll help in enhancing our customer satisfaction rate. Yes, better customer support services should definitely be one of our primary goals. To achieve this, we need to make sure our communication channels are efficient and swift. We should also focus on creating a proper feedback system, such that the customer's views and experiences can be utilized to further improve our services. Completely agree, manager. Alongside, I think one more area we could focus on is energy conservation. Operating in an energy efficient manner will not only reduce our costs but also contribute to sustainability. That's a great thought. Incorporating practices for minimizing energy usage in our routines can indeed be highly beneficial. We should keep reminding ourselves and the team about the importance of energy conservation. We'll add this in our objectives for the year. Thank you, manager. I believe if we work towards these objectives, we will surely be successful in attaining our goals. You're absolutely correct. Thank you for your perspective. Let's work together to achieve these objectives and strive for continual improvement. Troubleshooting problems in the Jaybird app development. Hey, Ben, can I grab you for a moment? Sure. What's up? I've been running into some issues with the Jaybird app we're working on. Oh, no. What seems to be the problem? Well, for starters, it's crashing quite frequently, especially after the most recent update. That's not good. Did you try to debug it to understand the issue? Yes, I did, but the error messages aren't very clear. They're mostly leading to null pointer exceptions, but I can't tell exactly why. Okay. Have you tried checking the specific place where the application throws a null pointer exception? I think I've found where it might be happening, but I still can't figure out why. I've double checked and even triple checked the code. Hmm. Have you tried looking at the recent code commits? Maybe somebody else's changes are causing the problem. You have a point. I'll look into the recent commits and cross check with the team. All right, then, let me know if you find something. In the meantime, are there any other issues? Yes, there is another issue. Some users have been reporting problems with the app sign in feature. They can't sign in even with the correct username and password. I see. Did you check if there are issues with the connectivity to the database? Or it could be due to an updated validation rule. I have checked the connection. It's working fine. Perhaps it is the validation rule, as you said. I'll dig deeper into it. Yeah, you should do that. Sometimes, These issues are buried deep in the back end code. I remember we have recently changed the password encryption algorithm. Perhaps that's causing the problem. That could be it. I'll look into both the problems and keep you posted. Good luck with that. Again, let me know if you need any help. Thanks, Ben. Will do. Casual lunchtime conversations between secretaries. Hey. How's it going? All right, I guess. Just trying to get through the day. How about you? Same here. Just trying to stay on top of everything. Do you want to join me for lunch? Sounds good.
I need a break from staring at my computer screen. Yeah, me too. The weather's nice. Maybe we could eat outside? That sounds perfect. I've brought my lunchbox today. Me too. I'm trying to eat healthier. I've packed a sandwich and some fruit. Same here. I've got a salad and some nuts. That's nice. How is your daughter doing in school? She's doing well. Thank you for asking. Busy with her studies and lots of sport. That's great. It's important for kids to stay active. Definitely. I'm constantly encouraging her. Anyway, have you seen the new construction happening near our office? Yes, I have. It seems to be a big project. Do you know what it's going to be? I guess it's a new residential apartment block. It's been amazing to watch the progress. Yeah, it's astonishing how quickly they can build such large structures. I agree. Did you follow the presidential debate last night? Yes, I did. It was quite intense. Sure was. It will be interesting to see how things unfold in the upcoming months. Certainly. The political scenario is quite unpredictable these days. Indeed. Changing the gear. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Not much. Just going to relax and spend some time with my family. How about you? We are planning to take a short trip to the countryside. Just for a change of scenery. That sounds nice. I hope you guys have a great time. Thanks. We're looking forward to it. Well, I guess we better get back inside. Yeah, I suppose so. It has been nice chatting with you. Same here. Let's do this again soon. Absolutely. Let's make it a routine. Agreed. Well, see you after lunch. See you. Planning a corporate celebration. A dialogue between a CEO and sales manager. Good afternoon, Bob. It's glad to see you. Good afternoon, sir. It's always a pleasure to see you as well. Bob, I have been crunching some numbers and looking at the reports, and I must say your sales team has done a tremendous job. Thank you. Sir, our team has been working exceptionally hard. So, I have been thinking about celebrating this success that we have achieved as a company. What are your thoughts about that? That sounds like a great idea, sir. The team will surely appreciate it. Celebrations like these can boost the morale and encourage better performance. I entirely agree, Bob. This is not just for encouragement but also for acknowledgement of their hard work. Have you got any suggestions on how we should proceed? I believe an after work get together would be great. Nothing too formal. Just something where everyone can relax and enjoy themselves. Is there a suitable venue you have in mind? Well, there's a new brewery downtown. They are quite spacious and offer a range of craft beers. It might be reasonably appropriate for our team. That sounds like an excellent choice. It is supposed to be a fun, relaxing night. Please get in touch with them and see if they can accommodate us. Right away, sir. Do we have a date in mind? What do you think about next Friday? Sounds perfect. That gives us ample time for planning and also allows the team to adjust their schedules. Fantastic. Bob, I think this is an excellent way for our team to bond and also to acknowledge the great work they have been doing. I would also like to include some form of recognition or award ceremony for the outstanding performances. An award presentation is a brilliant way to motivate and recognize the team. I am sure they will appreciate it. Could you manage this, Bob? Arrange the awards and the presentations? Yes, sir, I'd be glad to. I'll start working on it right away. That's great, Bob. I trust you will get this done as efficiently as you manage your sales team. I will make sure of it, sir. All right, that settles it. I am looking forward to this event. Thank you for this excellent suggestion, sir. 
I am sure the team will greatly appreciate this celebration and acknowledgement. The appreciation is absolutely deserved, Bob. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I'll get to work on organizing everything immediately. Perfect, Bob. I am eager to celebrate our success with the entire team. As am I, sir. I believe everyone will greatly enjoy this. Good, Bob. Let's make this a night to remember. Absolutely, sir. I won't disappoint you. I'm sure you won't, Bob. Have a good day, and let me know the updates. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Enhancing performance review approaches. A dialogue between the manager and HR director. Good afternoon, HR director. Good afternoon, manager. How can I assist you today? I wanted to discuss about the upcoming annual review meeting. Of course, I've been expecting your call. Where do you want to start? Let's start with the performance metrics that we're evaluating this year. Great. We've traditionally measured employee performance based on a few key indicators productivity, quality of work, teamwork, and employee engagement. Are you looking to change these metrics or add any new ones? I think these metrics serve us well. But I want to add an emphasis on innovation and adaptability this year. Our company needs to stay ahead of the curve, and we need employees who can quickly adapt to new processes and contribute innovative ideas. That's an excellent thought. Innovation and adaptability are indeed key in this rapidly evolving business landscape. We'll incorporate these aspects into the performance metrics. Thank you. Another concern I have surrounds the issue of transparency. I've heard complaints from some team members about not understanding the criteria on which they are evaluated. That's an important concern. Transparency is crucial in performance reviews. Everybody should have a clear understanding of what is expected from them. Apart from incorporating the detailed metrics in the review form, We can also conduct a workshop where we can explain these metrics and their significance to all employees. I think a workshop is a great idea. We should also be open to questions and provide satisfactory responses so that there's no room for confusion. Agreed. We definitely need to ensure everyone fully understands the process. Now, moving on to goals for the next year. How do you suggest we set them? Goals should be realistic and align with both the company objectives and the individual's career aspirations. They should be set collaboratively to increase employee buy in. I agree. We can implement a system where employees propose their own goals based on their roles and aspirations. Managers can then review and discuss these goals with the employees during the review process. It will be a two way street. That would certainly motivate the employees and enhance their performance. Let's talk about employee development. We need to provide opportunities for growth. Absolutely. We can discuss an individual development plan with each employee during the review meeting. This can include upskilling courses, leadership training, or advanced learning opportunities based on their interests and skills. Perfect. Lastly, I think we should have a detailed discussion about feedback and how it's communicated. Yes, we need to be constructive yet sensitive and make sure the feedback is relayed in a manner that encourages improvement. Employees should know where they excel and the areas they need to work on, along with suggestions on how to do it. Agreed. Well, I feel like we're moving in the right direction here. I appreciate your time and assistance with this. You're welcome. Looking forward to these enhancements in our annual review process. Let's continue to make improvements for the betterment of our company and employees. Absolutely. Let's do this. Thanks again. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Take care.
The tough termination talk. Good morning, Mr. Stevens. You wanted to see me? Yes. Good morning, June. Please, have a seat. This is not an easy conversation to have, but we need to discuss your contract. Oh, okay. Is there an issue? Well, yes, there is. We've been evaluating the company's performance and manpower needs, and after a lot of deliberation, we've decided that we need to terminate some contracts, including yours. I see. This is a lot to take in. May I ask for the specific reasons why my contract is being terminated? I understand that this is a surprise and it's a tough thing to go through. Your termination is not due to any performance issues on your part. We are in a tough situation and we're being forced to make some difficult decisions. I appreciate your honesty, sir. But what would be the terms of this termination, specifically about notices and severance pay? According to your contract, we're required to give you a one month notice, which starts from today. In regard to severance pay, you'll receive it as per the law, which means you'll get pay for unused holidays and any pay due for the notice period. What about references, sir? Will I be eligible for positive references? Absolutely, June. As I mentioned, this has nothing to do with your performance. I would be more than willing to give you a glowing reference which will include skills, work ethics, and accomplishments. All right, thank you. May I ask when I have to return company property, specifically the laptop and access cards? Yes. You'll need to return all company property by your last working day. That includes your laptop, access cards, and anything else that belongs to the company. All right. I'd also like to have some clarity on how this impacts my health insurance and retirement benefits. Your health insurance coverage will continue until the end of the notice period. As for the retirement benefits, You are entitled to what has been accumulated in your 401k till date. I'd suggest you speak to our HR and your personal financial advisor about the best course of action. I understand, Mr. Stevens. This is indeed a tough time. I appreciate your understanding and assistance during this period. I will reach out to HR for any other queries I may have. You're welcome, June. And I really am sorry that we had to have this conversation. Despite these tough times, I am confident that with your skills and abilities, you'll find suitable employment soon. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your kind words and support. It's been a pleasure working with you, June. I wish you all the best.